Hi guys, welcome to Nyoyang Cooking. In this video, we are going to explore a simple recipe that works very well with rice and this is how to prepare broccoli with braised mushroom and scallops. If you are a fan of scallop, must have this recipe, try it out. I love this recipe because it's just too simple, it's healthy and it works well with rice and I love rice. So let's check out the ingredients to prepare this dish. Here I'm using half a broccoli, remember to rinse them with a bit of vinegar and salt, soak them for about 15 minutes, then just wash it off. I also have some scallops, dried shiitake mushroom which I've already hydrated, so I've soaked them in water overnight. And remember not to pour away the water because you'll need this mushroom water which I have over here. A bit of Shaoxing wine, garlic, oyster sauce, some pepper and salt to taste, and some corn flour. The first step that we need to do is to blanch the vegetables. So here I have a pot of boiling water, I'm adding a pinch of salt. Then very carefully, these vegetables will go in. I would cook them about almost 2 minutes and then let this boil again. And we're going to immediately transfer it to a bowl of water which has uh, some ice cubes and also cold water. Now this will actually stop the cooking process immediately, therefore you get to see this really green, beautiful green colour of the broccoli it gets to be maintained. The broccoli is done and now we're going to concentrate on the second part of the dish and we are going to cook the broccoli and also scallops. So here I have a wok with a bit of oil, I'm going to cook my garlic. And then add the mushroom water. Now you can cook this at medium to high heat and allow it to boil. Once it starts boiling, add the oyster sauce and do not forget the wine. Now reduce the heat to low so that we'll let it simmer for a while. Meanwhile, we're going to arrange the broccoli on the plate. The mushrooms have been simmering for about 5 minutes and now I'm going to add my scallops. Once we add in the scallop, remember to increase the heat, let it boil and then bring, it, uh, bring the heat down to low again to let it simmer. Now it has been simmering for about 2 minutes, so I'm going to add a bit of salt just to taste and also a bit of white pepper. Now that it is almost done, I have added a bit of water to the corn flour and this is when I'm going to add this to the gravy to thicken the gravy. The gravy has thickened and now it's ready so I'm going to pour it right in the middle of the broccoli. This dish is especially popular during the reunion dinner for Chinese New Year. It cuts through so easily. So the juices from the fresh scallop works really well with the gravy. It adds a note of seafood. Just so good. And with mushroom, what more can I say? If you are a fan of mushroom, you're gonna love this because the mushroom is cook for a longer time and therefore it's really soft. Mm. This is chopstick looking good. <laughs> it's so delicious. Remember to try this recipe and tell me what you think in the comment section below and of course on Twitter, Instagram or even Google+. Plus. I love to hear from you and don't forget send me your photos on Facebook once you have uh, tried this recipe. So till then, I wish you happy cooking!